All right, motherfuckers. It's time to do a tier list. Make some bad decisions as we rank the genders. Starting with asexual. Now, before I get started, I just wanted to do this tier list with men and women. But because tierlist.com does not let me do any tier list with less than five items, I had to add three more. So I added asexual, non-binary, and transgender. So clap it up for those genders right there. They made it on the list. Uh, of course, genders is a huge debate because it's like only a male and female can be a gender. Well, that's not true. A transgender can be a gender. Um, listen, I don't really give a shit. Look, we're all going through some shit that we all don't understand. And that's fine. I mean, listen, I'm here to learn, be an ally and shit, and just like help other human beings out as best that I can with this fucking content. But I don't want to let asexuals uh, and uh, transgenders be left out. So I am going to rank them anyways. Start with the asexuals, man. Asexuals, if you don't know, have no sexual attraction to men or women. And so that means they don't have a sexual attraction. And uh, when I first heard of this, I honestly didn't believe it, man. I was like, no, no sex from male or female? I thought to myself, hmm, that's crazy. I've never heard anything uh, like that. But it's true. And sure enough, there's people out there that, that don't want anything from anybody. And uh, I'm sure that must make things a bit difficult because we live in a world where, you know, consumerism is propelled by sexual desire. And, uh, you know, it's hard to escape that. And it's just one of our most primal um, feelings is the urge to have sex. So... They must feel somewhat left out, though at the same time, might have other advantages too. Not wanting sex can be a good thing, because you can focus on other things. So I would consider that a pretty lofty advantage, considering how much of men and women's time is dedicated just to, you know, getting sex or even just like being sexually desirable. I, I suppose for that reason, I will have to say a bit easy because it's a it's a load off their plate if they don't care, but not entirely easy because, um, you know, I mean, it's a it's I can imagine it being a bit isolating and a bit hard to date. Now, women, ah, man, I should have a chart. I should honestly have a chart, so let's go through it. On this hand, we'll do the cons and the pros on this hand. So, periods, childbirth, um, societal injustice. Um, then on the other hand, you got like free drinks. Everybody, uh everybody wants to talk to women everybody loves women is a thing is that they're universally loved and um crimes are much like if you do a crime to a woman that's much more severe than if you do a crime to a man i mean that's not factual that's just how i would feel like if someone's like oh a man got shot i'd be like what happened if a woman got shot I'd be upset. I wouldn't ask questions. I'd be like, well, that's unfair. So, I mean, women have that going for them. We just, you know, us men, we have a desire to protect women, I think. I think. Uh, am, I, am I allowed to say that? Am I allowed to say that? Am I really live on YouTube right now? Holy shit, dude. Am I really talking out of my ass about how difficult women have it right now? Who do you think you are? No, women have it very difficult, man. Very difficult. So for that, I'm going to have to put it in hard. 
hard AF, bruh. Now, men, I can't lie. Men, we do have advantages. We have to deal with a lot less of the problems women have to deal with. But at the same time, we have to deal with our own version of being mentally handicapped. If you understand what I mean, you know. We truly are just a bunch of Homer Simpsons, Peter Griffins, and other fat cartoon dads just walking around out here. Uh, it seems like there's no hope for us. And yet everybody expects so much of us. You know, where's the men? Something I hear often. Where's the men to, to fix the roads and go fight in the war? I feel like women wish we would go fight in a war so that we would leave them alone and maybe become more callous and stoic you know that's a that's a fun little fantasy right there and uh you know not at the expense of uh men's lives or anything hey look look women have it hard do men have it as hard no but is it difficult yes so for that reason i'm gonna put you in a bit difficult now next we have non-binaries non-binaries are valid man <laughs> I mean, everybody on this list is valid. Um, it's, it's, see, I put a little question mark because uh, they don't really know what gender. They don't have a gender, you know. It's like it oscillates between how they're feeling and... Uh, nah, I'm just trying to think. Is it difficult? being non-binary I could imagine um, it feels a little isolating because it's not as common as being a male or a female but at the same time it must wear on you a little bit my mic just died in the middle of the video he's like stop talking and I will soon as soon as I figure out this non-binary issue um for non-binaries i'm gonna have to put it in neutral now i know what you're thinking there's one slot left on this category um and it's transgenders and the easy af category do they have an easy af well i mean right off the bat if you have the ability to be trans that that means you probably have access to a fair bit of like medical resources which should which to be fair you should be entitled to but that's not really the case so a lot of the times the trend I see is like trans people tend to be from wealthier households but not all the time not all the time and it doesn't matter where you come from socioeconomically the feelings are all the same um, trans people also have to deal with a lot of hate um they have to deal with just an entire part of this country that just hates them for some reason and uh yeah that shit is scary like i don't want to be scared for my life just because i made a decision about my gender that's not fair at all that's fucking uh retarded as we say on uh, Josh Aroni's channel. Uh, I mean, look, I just wanna get all these fucking genders to an even playing field so I could say the shit that I really wanna say about everybody on this list, up and down, because you're not innocent. Just because you're not this gender doesn't mean I can't say some shit about these other genders i'm just trying to be respectful and fair and uh when it comes to the transgender community you may think they have it easy but it's not and being trans poses a lot of problems in the fact of just existing even in a normal world because i mean it's difficult to date and a lot of people either fetishize people who are transgender 
and never truly respect them and they deserve to have our uh you know our relationship where they can actually uh you know be loved for who they are or not loved for who they are for who they are on the inside like you know their soul not their their body that people fetishize um and they yeah they deserve that and it's a fucked world we live in so i'm gonna say yeah being transgender is a bit difficult there you have it folks that was a weak clap i'm gonna do it again yeah yeah okay i ranked the genders this time guys uh they don't want me to do it they want me to quit they're telling me josh if you don't take your channel down we're gonna you know we're gonna do things to you and um you know like tickle um that type of thing i tell them no way jose uh this is uh this is going well i'm getting the exact amount of views i anticipated i would get and life is just marvelous darling and it's a thursday but it'll probably be uh the weekend when this comes out all right <laughs>